I have finally found a diode laser that checks all of my boxes and that makes it one of the best diode lasers that I've ever used. And I think you should use it too. Let's talk about that. My name is Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. So I have to admit, I normally use my CO2 laser when it comes to pretty much all of my big laser projects. But those days are over. We create sent me over their Vision Diode Laser right here and it has been a total game changer. Enough so that it actually has a permanent place on my laser rack. So let's take a look at why I say that and what makes this thing tick. So it comes very well packed and to get it out, I laid it on its side. There was a big sign on the top that said this side up and I slid it out of the box. And then with the help of my three-year-old Tristan, we got this thing unpacked and all of the foam removed from the outside of the laser. So the first thing I noticed when I got it unboxed is how good the laser looked. From the moment you peel the plastic off the top glass, it just looks like an expensive machine and it actually feels like one too. So besides the slat panels, everything else is actually packed inside of the laser. So you just open the top panel and just start unloading everything out very carefully. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there with uh, test prints and boxes and then a ton of foam. So get all that out of there and you're gonna be good to go. It's actually really easy to set up too. All you have to do is start by plugging in the power cable or the power brick that comes with it. Then you wanna plug in a USB in the back of the machine and plug that into your computer as well. And from there, you can screw in the little Wi-Fi adapter if you're gonna use the Wi-Fi. It just screws right in and you can flip it up like that. It also comes with an air pump for the built-in air assist. And this thing is actually very nice to look at along with being functional as well. And a really cool thing about it is it actually comes on automatically when you start burning. It has rubber feet on the bottom to stop the vibration from whatever surface you're putting it on and to set it up all you have to do is take that PTFE or the airline plug it into the back of the machine and then put it onto the air pump and you're good to go from there the last part of the air pump installation is just to plug in the power cable into the back of the machine so it knows when to turn on and off as we turn the laser on for the very first time you notice the lights come on and it illuminates the entire inside of the laser from there you'll see what makes this laser different than any other laser I've ever used the whole top begins to lift up and expose the full size of the laser and man that is cool to see in person there's a reason for this and we're going to talk about that a little bit later but it's really cool to see this thing just raise up from inside of itself the top of the lid itself is actually made up of orange laser glass and that means while this thing is cutting you don't even have to wear safety glasses and before you start typing in the comments that what if you lift the lid and, and there's a potential that the laser could be on still there's not because as soon as you open the door up like this the laser stops burning and you no longer are exposed to that laser beam once we open the lid though it exposes the built-in camera that's right built-in camera not added later not thought about later it is built in and ready to go right in the center extrusion of the lid that's actually a very welcome feature and it makes using these lasers so much easier when you have a camera once the lid is open and the laser is fully lifted up you can actually install your slat panels and you do that by just setting them down into the bottom of the laser while this is all lifted up if you're ever going to travel with this laser and drop it back down you need to remove those slat panels, otherwise your laser diode is gonna smash into them, and that's not good. The Vision comes with a 20 watt laser head, and keeping up with the rest of the theme, it looks really good. It's actually pretty solid and built very well too. I really think that 20 watts is a perfect wattage for a diode laser. You're gonna get good engraving, and you're gonna get good cutting, and it's kind of the best of both worlds. Yes, there are more powerful lasers out there, but in my opinion, you really don't need that in a diode laser. Some people think different, but in my opinion, 20 watts is the perfect diode laser size. So we create says the laser will go up to 600 millimeters a second, which is pretty dang fast and has accuracy of 0 0.08 by 0 0.08, which is pretty dang precise. They also say it'll cut up to a 10 millimeter thick piece of wood, which is pretty thick. All of that together just means that this thing is fast, accurate, and pretty dang powerful. Real quick, if you're getting value out of today's video, please smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos on 3D printing, CNC, and even lasers, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Now back to it. 
Now there are a bunch of really good safety features built into the Vision. And I already talked about the fact that it will not burn if you lift that lid up, which is huge because you don't have to worry about your family, your pets, or anybody else walking in the room while this thing is burning and then wrecking their eyes because they got a reflection from a laser or something like that. This also means that this is a class one laser because it's enclosed. That means that the FDA classifies this as a class one laser. And what that means is they say that there's no hazard during normal use of this laser. In contrast, the lasers that we usually use that are open gantry, they're, they're not enclosed or anything like that are considered a class four laser and the FDA says there's severe hazard to the eyes and skin while those are in normal operations. So class one, much better. The enclosure itself is made out of fire resistant materials, which is awesome because you don't want to have any fires. And because it's enclosed, that helps reduce the smoke and noise of this printer. Inside the bottom of the back of the machine, you'll notice the exhaust fan and the plug-in for our rotary attachment. On the back of the machine here, you can actually see where that exhaust fan comes out and can take that smoke away from your machine and outside. So the bottom line is that this thing looks great, it's safer to use than the other lasers we've been playing with, and it is built super solid. But none of that means anything unless it performs well. So I'm gonna move this to my garage where I can actually burn some stuff because they actually don't appreciate in the office area I am in, that in the studio here, when I burn things on lasers and fill it full of smoke. So I'm gonna move it over to the garage at my house now and we're gonna burn some stuff and let's check out how it actually performs. So We Create says it's gonna be compatible with light burn soon and that's pretty awesome. But for this video, we're gonna use their software. It's called Make It, and it's actually not too bad, and it's fairly simple to use. We Create Make It also has a pretty huge library of projects right from the start. And at launch, they say they're gonna have over 500 fonts and over 1,000 ready to burn images. That means you don't really have to know how to do anything. All you have to do is jump in, grab a project, and get burning. Another really cool feature of the software is an AI creation tool. It allows you to jump in, type any prompt you want, and it'll give you an AI image of what it thinks you want. And you can choose uh, several different versions and then just grab the one you like, drop it in your project, and get burning. I think it's pretty cool and I love seeing AI incorporated because it comes up with things that I definitely couldn't come up with myself. <laughs> Overall, I would say that the Make It software is pretty dang good, especially if you're a beginner just learning to get into laser engraving. If you're a novice, they do have a bunch of tools out there that you're gonna wanna use as well. Uh, I love Lightburn, I use Lightburn on all of my lasers, but to be fair, I actually had a really easy time using this and it actually works very well hand in hand with this laser. Now when Lightburn compatibility comes out, I definitely can't wait to jump in and use that just to see how it works and see if you can still use some of the really cool features that Make It has as well. Enough with the blabbing, it's time to see some results. Let's get burning. The first thing I did was a slate coaster. And this is when I knew the experience was gonna be different with this laser. What I did was I opened up the top, I dropped the coaster in on the build area and on the software, I clicked refresh. It refreshed the image, it showed me an image of the engraving area and the coaster right in there. From there, all I did was drop an image. I used the supernatural uh, symbol here. I, I love that show, by the way. So I dropped that image on, I resized it to fit the coaster, and I told it I was gonna be using Slate in the software. That's where it gets cool. It actually shows you a piece of Slate, and it gives you a whole bunch of color options, and all you have to do is choose the color you want, with a corresponding uh, speed and power, and it automatically drops that speed and power right into your project for that layer. It was so cool to actually see what your color should look like or very close to it uh, right on the software, and I think that helps out beginners immensely. Next, I clicked the autofocus button in the software. When I did that, the machine automatically raises itself up to the top, brings the laser head above your material and starts lowering itself to autofocus. It actually brings itself down and then back up and then down again. And when it's done, it raises up a little and slides over to the side. This means that this machine will autofocus your material every time so you get the perfect focus every time as long as you use this button. That's a super cool feature and the reason why earlier in the video we showed the machine raising up and I talked about how important that was 
It's because this thing focuses itself and the whole machine just does it for you. Now the We Create Vision can do a hundred millimeter material as far as thickness goes. And if you take out the slat panels, you can do up to 140 millimeter thick material, which is actually pretty dang thick for a laser like this to use. Now in the software, all we have to do is click that start button. When you do that, it brings up a little uh, picture. You can click send, it shoots it over to the laser. And from there, you hit the only button on the laser to get the project started. You press that button and everything starts. Now I do have to say that this was probably the easiest time I've ever had getting a project started on a brand new laser with the software that came with it. That means a lot because I've tested a lot of lasers and a lot of their softwares and this just was super easy to use. As far as the slate itself, it actually came out really good. I'm gonna see if you can see that right there. It is a very nice color, darn close to what I actually chose. The engraving was smooth and even, and it actually was pretty fast. It, it, I was surprised on how fast this thing went. It's not as fast as a CO2 laser, but it got the job done pretty dang quick. And I would say that this turned out very good for my very first burn on this laser. Next, I thought I would engrave some coasters for my wife's company, and I, I just dropped her logo, which was an SVG, straight on to the software. I put it on four coasters at one time. I positioned them where I wanted them and I hit go just like we did before. It came out very good. The, the font is not very laser friendly, so we'll have to work on that. But as far as the actual uh, burn itself goes, it actually went very, very well. It, as far as a coaster burn, it's not super deep. There's no soot. And I would definitely sell these coasters just like I do all my other ones. And I think all in all, it maybe took nine minutes for four of them which is pretty dang quick too. So I'm pretty impressed with how it did coasters on cork. And I actually created my own preset, which was super easy in the software. So I can keep doing these going forward. Next, I wanted to do something a little different and engrave on just a random piece of wood I had, but I wanted to try out the AI feature. So I jumped into the AI feature and I think I typed in something like an airplane over a apocalypse in black and white or something like that. I think I got three or four results from what I remember, and this was one of them. I then sent it off to the laser like I did the other ones, and this is the result. This thing actually came out very good for a random piece of, uh, what is this, like three millimeter plywood or something. Um, you can see a lot of details, especially in the ground area over here. There's an airplane up there. You can see the sky. Is it perfect? No, but for my first try with default settings, nothing else done, uh, I think this is a win. I have had way worse engravings than this uh, in the past, and I didn't do anything to tune this. All I did was tell it to burn. Uh, so this was a good job, and I like the AI feature. I think I need to dial in what I search, and I think it probably needs to learn as it's going to get better but it's really cool and it's a lot of fun. Last but not least, I wanted to try something from the projects. So I jumped in and I bought this little airplane uh, model. It was 99 cents. The process was super easy to purchase the model, which was cool. Then all I had to do is click that I wanted to use that model. It sent it straight on to my uh, software there where I could resize it to the bigger piece of wood and I could actually cut it out from there. It is safe to say that overall, I've had a great experience with the We Create Vision diode laser. I really enjoyed using it and it has now become my go-to recommendation for anybody who's getting into laser engraving and wants to start with one of these dialed machines. It looks great, it's built very well, and it's safer to use, which is a huge benefit. As of the time of filming this right now, it's actually in pre-order status on their website. It's not a Kickstarter or anything like that, it's a pre-order status on their website, and you can go to the link in the description below and save a whole bunch of money when you order one during the pre-order. Currently, it's in early bird status, which means if you put $20 down, they actually give you $300 towards the cost of the laser. That's pretty awesome, and you get to save some money. So if you want one, you want to get on it while the pre-orders are still going. I do want to say thank you to WeCreate for sending out this laser and giving me the opportunity to check it out. And I also have to thank all of you for getting this far into the video. And as always, have you guys seen this one?